What's going on guys and welcome to the top 50 players of FIFA 15. I'm excited to give you guys some of these ratings and EA seem excited to give them to you as well. So of course EA are going to drip feed us some of these ratings. They're starting off going from 50 down to 41 so that's what we're going with today and then the next day they'll do 41 all the way down to uh, 31 or so on and so forth. Anyways let's start off with Chiellini here. Now Chiellini has taken a minus two in his overall. He's got a uh, plus one in his defending although he's only got minus one in his pace so the overall stats on these cards are a little bit strange sometimes they just don't actually reflect their overall rating and you guys will see that in some of these changes and unfortunately our man Pirlo EA again sticking to their roots about the older the player the get uh, the older the player is the worse he becomes and that's a real disappointment because Pirlo has taken a minus 15 on his pace. Minus 15. He's not in a wheelchair, EA. He is still a legendary world-class player. I don't know what they're smoking on that one. Anyways, Alonso has taken a downgrade as well. Obviously, now playing uh, for Bayern Munich, he made the move from Real Madrid, and uh, his shooting has gone down four. His defending has actually gone up by three, and so has his passing. His passing has gone up by two, so um, overall, that's a pretty uh, standard spiel. Um, anyways, next up, we have Casillas here, and w this is definitely a downgrade that I have to agree with. He just didn't get the game time he thought he would at Real Madrid. It's a bit of a shame to see, but he just wasn't up to standard, and Casillas has gone down two. He's, uh, his diving's gone down. His reflex is his positioning, his handling. Overall, he is certainly being downgraded. Rest in peace, Casillas. Anyways, uh, next up we have Fabregas, and he is also taking a minus two on his particular card. Now, I don't know how I feel like this, because I think for Chelsea, he is going to be really good, and it wouldn't surprise me if it goes down to 84, if they upgrade him later on in the year, or even midway through, because I seriously think he's going to prove that he is, oh, he's, his overall really should be 86. Anyways, Laurie is our first, um, I guess, uh, upgrade, if you will. He was an 84 in FIFA 14, and now in FIFA 15, we've got an 85 rated Spurs keeper. And uh, Lloris' reflexes have actually taken a minus one hit for whatever reason. Uh, EA do whatever the hell they want to do. Another thing that I want you guys to notice is that on these players, you notice they have physical their f physical rating instead of heading. Um, so that's something that may uh, play a part in someone's overall as well. Anyways, we have Martinez here, and you may notice he is no longer a defensive mid. He is now a center back, and he's also gone up plus one but because he's now a center back of course according to EA law and rules he has to go down in pace which is a real disappointment anyways Busquets kind of just stayed steady um pretty consistent lad that he is um he's gone from an 85 to an 85 hooray what a surprise and uh yeah Busquets ha hasn't really changed all that much, and uh, I, I can't really expect him to change too much. Weak foot, three-star skills. Skill moves, three-star. Anyways, we have Jerome Boateng. He's got actually four-star weak foot and three-star skill moves. This guy has definitely got a nice bump up from 83, so he's gone up plus two. He's also got a cheeky bump up in the pace department as well. Defending's gone up by one, and passing has gone up by four. Congratulations to Jerome Boateng. There you go, my man. You deserve your upgrade. And then we have... We have we have a disappointment for uh, Man United fans. So uh, what's the matter? Keep your smiles on your faces. You do have Falcao and Di Maria, so the season isn't going to be all too bad for you all. But. Anyways, Mata has taken a minus two hit. He was 87 last FIFA, and I'm sure Man United fans are hoping that he can prove EA wrong, that he deserves to be restored to that 87 rating. But that's going to be it from me today, guys. Hope you did all enjoy this video, and if you want to see more rating videos as we count down from the top 50 all the way down to the number one, who I think we all know who it might be, then uh, make sure you drop a like, leave your support, and more importantly, let me know your opinions, your thoughts on EA's ratings so far. See you guys later. Bye-bye.